I just saw it. What do I do? Please help. Can I turn my neck backwards, please? Oh, I got that shot. No, open it. Do I have to hold it? Uh Alright. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just gonna start at the beginning with the house. This is a pretty game. Yeah, I'm definitely taking a screenshot of that. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. In her will, my mother left me a key that didn't tell me what I'd unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know, or she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. No one had driven this way in a long time, but I saw a few of prints. <laughs> Run away. Chase after? No, I can't. The truth is, even after I inherited the house, oh. I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. The house was exactly like I remembered it, the way I'd been dreaming about it. That is a big house. Take a picture of that too. That's Milton French? That's one of my favorites. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. As a 17 year old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. I hoped the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. Looking in, I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. Oh. Understandable. For the first time in years, I felt like I was home. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. 
It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. Thanos. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. <laughs> Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Maybe it sounds like I had a plan, but I had no idea what was behind that door. Just like I had no idea where all this was going to lead. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Mom, can I come out now? Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. Are you going to eat the fish? I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. Understandable. <clears throat> I kept eating and eating. It's tasty. I ate a lot of things that night. That's... Oh. Then I heard chirping outside my window. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. And suddenly... Go! I was a cat! Where? I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Where? What? I literally ran into it. Where'd I go? Right here? Okay. She was getting really tired. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Sad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. I gobbled her up. And suddenly, I was an owl. Bruh. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. He's 
a rabbit. Rabbits. to the ocean. Now, I was hungrier than ever. I wanted fat, juicy seals. Exactly, I'm about to get one. Closer and closer. All my stomach started growling. 
And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know. I will be delicious. It's <clears throat> cool. That's pretty cool. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Andy would have. I grew up looking at Mommy's cat? room through the people. I hope I did. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. Oh. Where'd the cat go? This will be obvious later. Damn it! I didn't even do the stupidest possible fucking thing. What? You would have, but mom didn't like bringing up so, the past. Where uh, my mom has um, these weird two ice trays, and we had the idea of like putting food coloring in them, so they were like yellow flamingos. And like I, I told my dad I said it's scared about it. I put like five blues off in one of them to see uh -huh. what would happen. And said it would probably be really dark and it would taste of ass. And my mom is like, No, they don't taste any. You you can't taste it at all. Yeah. And they're like arguing over it and I'm like, Alright, well let me see. And I'm like, Yeah, I can taste it. And then they're just like, Oh my god! I'm like, what? I look in here, my entire fucking mouth is blue. <laughs> literally, my entire mouth. All of my teeth, all, like, literally everything is blue. That's nice. And my lips. So like you, you should watch this, this game. When is really adopted cool. a strange that kitten, was one drop. She was Alright, start a new game. I, guess I, I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Yeah, you, you should watch this. You should watch me play this. Really cool. What? What? Okay. 